What's up? I'm Alex, the entrepreneur. Today I'm comparing Strapi.io with WordPress. I'm seeing a lot of search traffic, so I'm assuming that you need some clarification on the difference between the two of them. So what is WordPress? WordPress is a CMS, a content management system. Uh, basically, it's a way for you to manage your content, such as articles, pages, users, and the relation between them. Uh, you can also use what is called a custom post type to create special types of posts. Uh, for example, to, um, to create events or to create a calendar or to create a specific uh, types such as a menu for a restaurant, uh, this kind of features or an FAQ. Um, and um, WordPress in the, in the last few years have become even bigger uh, thanks to drag and drop builders. So it opened up uh, a lot of opportunity, especially for marketing savvy people to use WordPress. So what, what does it provide? It provides administration on pages, uh, it provides a way to build pages, a, build, a way to build posts, uh, it has plugins that allows to customize it basically indefinitely, it also has a tons of te themes that change the way it looks and the way it behaves, and as I said, it allows for very granular customization, to the point where uh, a few years ago, uh, one of the startups I was working with built one of the most expensive WordPress website ever, because we basically used WordPress as a way to uh, prototype our own projects uh, because the coding techniques are very simple it's very easy to get started with it's very easy to find people that can work with it and as such uh, it may be it used to be a great choice uh, to bootstrap uh, your company honestly you want to just quickly test your idea you throw in a WordPress website and just build it or maybe you're an information marketer you can just uh, gate your content behind a paywall and create a membership site so these are all things for which WordPress has been used and um, Honestly, WordPress is the, the, the best default choice for most people. Uh, however, what we're talking today about is Strapi. So Strapi is a headless CMS. So WordPress is a CMS, Strapi is a headless CMS. Headless means that it has no front-end. Front-end are the pages that the user sees. So when I visit your website, let's say your website is called website.com, and I go to website.com, what I'm seeing is the front-end. However, Strapi does not have that. So why would you use it? The, the truth is that instead of uh, telling you how to show the data and imposing a theme and imposing a look on how it looks, it simply allows you to store and interact with your data. It's a tool that people that build websites may find extremely useful. It's a similar idea to working with WordPress without a theme. So instead of having your website, you're going to work with WordPress for some other functionality. For example, by working with the WordPress API. Now, the biggest difference, again, headless CMS, is that Strapi exposes a CRUD API, where CRUD means create, read, update, delete. CRUD API, again, allows you to create, read, update, and delete your data. Once you define your data, which is just, um, it's just a, a set of keys and values, such as my name, Alex, name, Alex, age, 28, etc., etc. So that's what it is. And the Strapi gives you that functionality. By giving you that functionality, you basically have a way to have one server that deals with that functionality. And then you can build your different website, mobile application, other websites for administration, different panels, different UIs, and you can build them all separately from the back end. So by separating your database, your, by separating your backend behavior or your, your API, you're effectively making it so that different people with different needs can use the same functionality, the same logic, without having to use the same interface. Okay? This gives you more flexibility. So who uses WordPress? Well, most people that use WordPress, they just want to build a website. Uh, they're publishers, they're interested maybe in content marketing, uh, some of them are entrepreneurs that want to test a new idea, other of them just want to build something rapidly. And uh, uh, I would say that WordPress would be the, um, the more general solution. It's, it's basically a very general solution. If I never knew you and you told me I want to make a website, I would probably suggest WordPress because it's more flexible than other drag and drop builders. It also provides uh, the ability to extend the code in a very trivial and simple way. It also is extremely uh, developed and active, so that ensures safety as long as you keep updating it. And so 
in a way, WordPress provides the best compromise of it all. On the other end, who should use Strapi? Strapi should be used by people that have an understanding of code. So if you never used code, you probably cannot use Strapi because it's a little too advanced. However, if you are a developer and you have even a basic understanding of code, then you can definitely benefit from using it because it's going to help you build your applications faster. Uh, another group of people that will definitely enjoy Strapi are entrepreneurs. They either work in startups or they are solopreneurs. And um, those people that want to build their prototypes faster and they want to experiment and they want to get to market faster, they will immensely benefit by, by Strapi. And uh, so Strapi is a specific solution for developers, but developers that know, uh, they, they, they are willingly interested in finding a tool that speeds them up gets them to build their APIs faster, gets them to uh, go beyond the boilerplate and gets them to build stuff that is actually meaningful. So if you, need, you, know, you know a little bit of code, Strapi is extremely simple to work with. It allows you to build API, and uh, um, API first is the modern way to build, uh, build applications because you may have different set of APIs doing different things. Um, for example, imagine Facebook. Facebook will have an API that manages the user, another API for the events, another API uh, for their integrations. Uh, you will be naive in thinking that all of those APIs are in a single WordPress database. It would be very naive to think that you can, can do that. I mean, I guess you can, but uh, no one would. Uh, a more scalable, a more dynamic approach would be to separate each of those functionalities into separate services. And a service is just an API that requires authentication. So by using Strapi, you can do exactly that. It gives you flexibility, it gives you scalability, it allows you to work with multiple backends and multiple frontends at the same time. So who should use it? If you're an entrepreneur and you want to test a new business, you should use Strapi. If you're a startup and you need to deliver your features faster, you should use Strapi. If you want to win at Hackathon, you should use Strapi. Strapi, hands down, is the fastest way, the easiest way to win a Hackathon there ever was. So who am I? I'm Alex, the entrepreneur. I've taught coding for a while now. I've been programming for 15,000 hours, mostly in startups. And after going through PHP, WordPress, a little bit of Python, JavaScript, and Node.js, I finally found Strapi. And I've been working with it for over a year now. And I just want to share it with the world. So if you need immediate help in the topics of JavaScript and Strapi, you can click in the link in the description to get, uh, to, to get me to help you immediately. That said, if you're instead you're, you're not sure if you should use Strapi or not, then you should definitely take the quiz. Click on the link in the description or in the card, take the link, take the quiz, figure out whether Strapi is a good fit for you. And that said, thank you for watching and have an awesome day.